properly designed and put in place, a HACCP, or Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point system, helps ensure food product safety. It can also improve productivity and increase competitive advantage, enhance market access, and provide a competitive advantage. HACCP may help to decrease liability and reduce waste and production costs. But where do you start? Let me show you. HACCP should be implemented for all processing lines within a plant. But this may be difficult to do all at once. So to start with, select one of the lines. There are 12 steps in developing a HACCP plan and setting up a system. These steps include the seven principles of HACCP. The first step is to establish your HACCP team. This team should involve people from across the organization with varied skills and from different departments within the plant. For example, senior management, production, quality control, sanitation, maintenance, shipping and receiving. You want people who have the best understanding of how changes will affect daily operations. It's important that management is involved, that they send a clear message about being committed and caring about the success of the program. And from the beginning, choose one person to be in charge of your HACCP program. Often, this person is called the HACCP coordinator. Everybody's got a role in HACCP. Ideally, your HACCP team should include maintenance staff, individuals with training in microbiology, food science, and someone with knowledge of regulations you should include at least one individual who is thoroughly familiar with all aspects of the facility and its products. The second step of setting up a HACCP system is to obtain product and processing information. This information should include the ingredients used in the product and their sources, ingredient properties and their specifications, product formulation, procedures at each stage of processing, equipment used, time and temperature required, and all potential sources of contamination before, during, and after processing. The third step is to describe the finished product and identify its intended use. This and the product processing information will help you in hazard analysis. Now we've described the product and identified intended uses. Good work. The fourth HACCP step is to illustrate the process flow and plant layout. First, construct a process flow diagram, detailing the operations involved, right from receiving raw materials and on through to mixing, blending, cooking, cooling, packaging, and distribution of the finished product. Enough details should be included to help you in your hazard identification. Next, create a plant schematic. This helps identify rooms and their function, also product flow and employee traffic. This is very useful in identifying and assessing potential hazards such as cross-contamination. That's how we figure out where the problems could be. Step 5 of setting up a HACCP system is to check the process flow diagram and plant schematic for accuracy and to make sure that no processing steps have been left out. This verifies any assumptions about product movement and employee activities.